So we all know that beating ourselves up over mistakes doesn't really do any good, but doctors are now learning how detrimental shame can be when it comes to our health. A new food documentary called Better by author and nutritionist Jonathan Baylor makes the devastating connection and shares solutions. One of the things we do talk about in the film is that there is nothing that is more detrimental to our health than shame. So, you know, it, it sounds up at maybe woo woo, but it's not. It's actually proven science that there is nothing you can eat that will harm your body more than feeling shame because you ate it. Wow, that is some profound stuff. And, and I didn't necessarily expect to discover this. I mean, this has been the biggest revelation of my career, which is we went into this film better anticipating that it was going to be a nutrition documentary, right? Working with mm -hmm. top doctors at the Harvard Medical School. But when we started working with the, the 20, we call them diabetes heroes in the film that are at the beginning, the middle, and their end of their healing journey, we found that this is actually not a nutrition problem at all. It's a, it's a shame problem. And it's, it's much more analogous to, not to get too dark, but like the opioid epidemic where no one says, oh, you have a heroin problem. They say, no, there's something else going on that you're treating with heroin right. and that level of, of compassion, not that level of precision around the like calories is what we really need to solve this problem. Wow, I think, again, something that is, we all need to hear, you know, many of us are counting points or doing this and that. And when you mess up, it makes you feel even worse. Is that kind of what helped inspired you to create this is to just give people a break? There's been so much talk about perfection or this pursuit of perfection or right or wrong or good or bad when it comes to food. And the irony is that the further we've gone down that path, the harder we've tried, the sicker, sadder, and fatter we've gotten. So it's clearly not working. Like this is yeah. not an effort problem. This is not a precision problem. The way we're approaching the problem is the problem. And we need to look at diabetes, which is obesity and diabetes put together as the life-threatening and emotionally devastating disease that it is and treat it with science and compassion, just like we would a cancer diagnosis, mm -hmm. not with shame and stigmatization, which is how it is treated today. Where do you think that all came from? How did we start with that shame tradition in the United States? Because it's not just within us, it comes at us. Unfortunately, it's one of the most pronounced and still remaining forms of misogyny in our culture. I mean, good, bad, right or wrong. Uh, you know, I'm the father of two daughters and it breaks my heart that to this day, the message that our daughters and our mothers and our sisters hear is that you need to be quiet. You need to be small. You need to be quiet. You need to be small. On some level, you need to be quiet. You need to be small. And I'm here to say, you need to be bold. You need to be big. And you need to be beautiful, and beautiful is defined by your actions, not by your body. And that's where it comes from. So in watching this documentary, um, do you think a lot of people will rethink the way they eat and rethink the way that they judge themselves? And that's the goal, right? Without question, we need to revise nutrition, right? I'm not saying that food has nothing to do with this. I'm not saying right. that calories are unicorns. So we are, we do talk about food in the film and we do provide a much more approachable and easy to understand framework to make decisions when it comes to food. But, and this is the big but, like this is the secret. This is the reveal. I'm going to give away the film is <laughs> unless you believe in your core that you are worth better you will not eat better. And let me prove this to you with one example, pregnancy. It has been my experience that when a woman finds out that she is now responsible for another life, what she puts in her body and how she perceives what she puts into her body changes immediately. It's so true, I can attest to that. So how do we get to a place where we value ourselves constantly to that level. I mean, most people feed their dog better than they feed themselves. It's almost like we're um, 
sometimes it's almost like we're punishing ourselves with food too, or not with, or without it or saying, Oh, you ate so crappy yesterday. You have to eat this today. And it's like, we use it as a tool to screw with ourselves. Absolutely. We need to, we need to heal our relationship with ourselves so that we heal our relationship with food. Yeah. Baylor's documentary, Better, is available on iTunes and Google. Plus, we have more information on our website. Really valuable insight to help stop that shame that gets in our way.